Hello and welcome. Neil Hans here from Tykes TV. Hope we're all well. Great uh, comeback from performance and attitude wise against Doncaster Rovers. Before I get on about the Doncaster Rovers game, just want to have a, a quick mention, a quick thoughts to Luke Thomas. You no, know, he had surgery. Uh, it's looking like it all went well uh, as expected. So, Luke. Hope you recover well. Hope you're back on uh way to recovery and fitness and everything. It's going to be a fair few months before you're going to be out. But just want to send uh, well wishes and thoughts from myself at Tykes TV and many, many other fans as well. So, uh, Luke, hope to see you soon, mate. Back in a red shirt. Right, so we'll get on to Doncaster Rovers game. I've expected to be some changes, which, you know, we did have some changes, to be fair. Um, I did my predict to start in 11, one million miles away for some players in and out. One interesting one for me was the uh, Will Undermark. Uh, I went with my son and I've seen training him up and I'm thinking, well, others have gone in, why is he still there for? I thought he was, you know, had a slight niggle and injury, so that's why he got pulled out at first team. But no, apparently, because he'd been yellow carded in the previous two games, he was eligible for this game, and for the reason why he didn't start. So I thought he might have picked up a niggle or an injury, and that's why we're a bit of a reshuffle in midfield. But no, that's the reason why he picked up a couple of yellows. So that was an interesting one. But at least we've found out before rather than win the game and then uh, possibly be chucked out for, you know, fielding an eligible player. So imagine that. So well spotted to. Uh, club officials or whether or whether they did it time and got back rectified and sorted out. <clears throat> so yeah, taking on. I mean, you know, Walton kind of expected that Walton are going to be in game and I'm, I'm you know surmising to be fair, I didn't think he really got troubled. I don't think he got really dirty in first half. Second half were a bit different. Saw so young Daniel Benson, Lancaster, Edwards, Moan, Laresh, you know, uh, I'm just going to go through a team here. Then you've got Phillips, Connell, which was great to see. Luca Connell coming back. I think he marshaled game. Martin, Tedich and Jallo. And then we'll get on about subs in a minute. But when you look at the back line via, for me, I thought we pretty, pretty did decent, to be fair. Especially in the first half, because we're a lot of, uh, you know, owners were probably on us and great away support as always. You know, art sung, you know, atmosphere and everything unbelievable. Shout out to people what I saw. You know, if I don't say your names, it's not by, um, you know, it's not on purpose, but I'm going to see Gav from Balzai.com, Riddy, Andy Clark, uh, some people from club. Uh, we're also at Gamer at Calways, Andy from Inverred Corner, uh, and probably about another eight, nine more like. But again, great to see you and uh, have a bit of the chat and a catch up. So, yeah. Going to the first half, I mean, you know, Jallo and Martin both getting a couple of goals each. I thought, to be, to be fair, I have expected either one of them to go on and get an hat-trick. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't do. I mean, their player, I'm not mentioning his name, but X-Red, you know, last year slated as or the club about how they were treated or not treated at club. He scored two goals, but I think he said it all when they were having to bring on some of the first teamers in the second half to try and uh, stem the floor. But I think damage were done in the first half, to be fair. But yeah, I think uh, Jallo played a lot better than the war the Newcastle game is in regards to making his runs better, not getting offside as much. Tedich, I was praying that he were going to score a penalty. I said to my son and a few people around me, I said he needs this for his confidence, lad. And then when that didn't go in the second half, I thought we were getting frustrated what times we'd have. I thought he could have just put his laces through the ball and just have a pop at goal. But we were trying to play Martin on a few occasions. I'm thinking, just have a pop, have a crack at goal. <clears throat> um, confidence, you just need that bit of confidence there. Apart from that, you know, Edwards, I think when Edwards went off, it kind of affected us in the second half a bit. We are very more stuck down our right hand side, you know, we're cutting through us a bit. But it was to be expected, we're going to come at us, won't we? You know, we're going to come at us. If they had to, really, to try and even make school line a bit more, you know, 
presentable to on their behalf, but I'm not taking out away from from lads who you know on night. I mean, even young as what came on, uh, Picard, Butterfill. I know he came on later on. Artley, uh, Neyman. You know, they all came on, and to be in an atmosphere like that, where it, yeah, it's a cup game, and people say yeah, but it's I mean, but it's a cup game, and we're in front. We had to, I think, sample that kind of atmosphere. What well, us were making noise until last minute at game. I think we had to sample that atmosphere where we're in a cup competition and you know we could progress further. I'd like to think there are a few players on there, but it never sends a bit of justice. I like Edwards, uh, not just knocking on the door, but boot it door in and saying, mate, gaffer, mate. You know, because you look at first team situation, yeah, we had that blip against, well, we had one against Wickham. And then more recent one against Exeter. You look at middle of that and what kind of form and run we were on, it weren't too bad to be fair, six unbeaten. So you like to think it were a blip and move on, but it's the challenging, you know, players at what were played last night, you like to think more for challenging and being contention. Not to be at first team straight away, I'm not saying that, but to be on bench or tasting first, you know, first team action. Lares uh, did against when he scored a goal against Newcastle uh, in last round. He he started gain uh, some bench time and gain on. You like to think that Butterfield, Dyer, you know, he came on and I think first touch of game he could have he could have scored low crossing from Luca Connell and near post and I'm like oh if I had gone in what a I think we'd we'd have lifted roof off, you know Joseph Dyer is one of his own. But a great to see kid, and again, promising signs there. Promising signs there. I think only the person who didn't get a game or uh, Searle. Everybody else, everybody else did. But yeah, I'm I'm just looking at I'm just looking at line up there. Everyone what came on, we did a job. Luke Connell, more uh, game time, more minutes for him. Game up to speed, and again, Luke Connell, I rate a lot. I really do. I think he dictates game. Always wanting players to make runs for him and telling him after the ball and that. So great to see him come through. 90 minutes as well. 90 minutes. So all being well is in contention for Bolton Wonders game. I think a game that Luke Connell will be looking forward to it. With him starting his young career off here. So a game that will be buzzing to go for him. So good to see that he came through this unscathed. Um, ready for Saturday because that's going to be a big game. Big, big game. Bolton away. Let me know your thoughts. You know, you, you went to the game. What do you think of, you know, team lineup? What do you think of players? And, you know, Jallo and Martin both scoring a double. Unlucky not to get um, an hat trick. He won uh, one or both in them. Do you think that, you know, score line flattered us? I, I don't think he flattered us one bit. I thought we took the game to him and I thought we fully deserved it. I thought his play, his running off at ball, were creating these chances. And I thought, you know, we probably, maybe we could have got a bit more. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but, yeah, as always, please like, subscribe and share. I'd like to know your thoughts on this uh, as well. Have you, have you seen comments below? Don, Donny Rovers against uh, Barnsley. If you seen comments below, let me know your thoughts about, you know, seeing such as like his day coming coming on, uh, such as uh, young Jello scoring a couple of goals. A lot of positives from that game. Yeah, people say it's, you know, it's a meaningless Papa John's game, but you've got to appreciate and play was ever in front of you, regardless if it's Newcastle Academy or Lincoln City or Donny Rovers, always in a, a league below us. You still got to take on opposition, and that I thought we did. Way to fight draw, because I think Newcastle and Lincoln play next week for some reason, and then we wait for, you know, regional draws. If we finish top of our group and we get drawn at home, so it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting, but you know, positives from it: work rate, attitude, everything will be there for me. Um, and move on to Bolton. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. One thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>